everybody welcome back to my channel we are back with a review of catfish this is season 7 episode 32 angel and remy before we get into the review if you have not done so just yet please remember to go ahead and subscribe to my channel let me know what you think of this video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down and hit the notification button so you will know whenever i upload new content now um I'm going to try to get through this review as quickly as I can. First of all, happy 4th of July, everybody. Um, if you hear some popping in the background, don't worry about it. Niggas are still out here popping firecrackers like they ain't got to be a goddamn work in the morning. But I do, and I'm very, very tired. Hopefully, everybody had a great 4th of July. I did. Um, what did we do? We went to the parade this morning, me and my sister, and um, my baby boy, my niece and my nephew. And then um, we just went and seen the fireworks a little bit ago. The fireworks were nice. Really, really cool. Really, really nice. But um, hopefully everybody had a good 4th of July. All right, y'all. So we have Angel. She's 18 years old. She has a three-month-old son, and she is from outside of Dallas. She's been talking with Remy, this guy that she met on POF. Now, she's not with her baby's father. Of course, she was out there looking for love. She said that he sends her a message and that they started talking um, through POF, um, you know, a couple of times. They've DM'd each, uh, each other, they've texted, and they've tried to FaceTime before. But when she FaceTimed him, all she could see was him from the forehead on up. Now, girl, that's the problem right there. Come on now. We all know how fucking catfishes go. So after they met, it's like their relationship kind of started going quickly. Like, he quickly said that he wanted to be a part of her life. He wanted to help be there for her and her baby, that he loved her, yada, yada, yada. They were supposed to meet a couple times. The first time they were supposed to meet, he sent her an address, right? He sends her the apartment number. She can't find the apartment number, but she calls him and tells him, like, you know, hey, I'm here. So he tells her, well, hey, you don't see me? And she's like, well, no, where are you at? And he was like, well, I see you. Um, you have on like a yellow neon shirt and you're in a black Nissan with a black bumper. And she's like, yeah, that's me. You know, like, where are you at? He never responds back. So she sends him another message. Hey, I'm here. Where are you? He never responds anything back to her. Now, bitch, that's another goddamn flag right there. Now, the nigga can stalk you out. But you, what? All right, y'all. Then there was another time that they were supposed to meet up, right? It was her and her best friend, Mari keep that bitch in mind they went to the movies and he was supposed to come there and meet them at the movies right so she said about halfway through the movies he doesn't show up y'all i'm so distracted i'm watching ace venture a pet detective and it's the part where this motherfucker is bent over with his ass cheeks talking to to tone Loke. I, i'm sorry add add kicked in add kicked the fuck in so, like I was saying, y'all, she was with a best friend, right? And they were supposed to meet homeboy at the movies. He never showed up. They end up calling him. He doesn't answer the phone, but he ends up texting, telling her, look, I got a girlfriend. My girlfriend knows about you, and now she wants to fight you. So, her and the girlfriend end up going back and forth because the girlfriend starts texting her phone. And so, her and the girlfriend going back and forth, and her best friend ends up getting into it as well. And so, she tells them, well, hey, what's up going on? How about y'all go ahead and pull up so her best friend mari ends up talking her into let's go on over there and pull up on this hoe right so they go over there you know texting calling whatever nobody ends up showing up now it's like girl but she's young she's innocent she's naive she's a beautiful young girl and you can tell she's so young in the mind and then she got a baby on top of that's like a baby with a baby and she's already in such a vulnerable state like it's fucked up. It was really, really, really fucked so, up. Okay, I'm going to see how, if I can explain this to make sense. Okay, because the shit didn't make sense to me. So, Angel has been talking with Remy, like I said, through the phone and through text messages, right? They have a social media that they've been communicating through, which is Snapchat. Now, he told her that he does have a Facebook account. He gives her the Facebook account information, and he gives her his Snapchat information, right? Now... Again, he's his name is Remy. The Facebook information that he sends her to tell her who he is is to a the guy is a different name. Now the pictures are the same, but the name is different, right? And then the Snapchat name that he gives her is different from the Snapchat name that she's been communicating with him through. The Facebook name and the Snapchat name are the same. The pictures on the Snapchat and the Facebook are the same. But She's been talking with him through another Snapchat where the pictures are the same, but the name is different. 
How much more fucking obvious is that, girl? Like, come on. Even Neve and Elle. L is whoever Neve's co-host is. I forgot to say that. Some chick named L. I don't know who she is, but she seems, she seems dope as fuck. But anyways, um, so she said that she tried to reach out to him through his Facebook, sent him a friend request through the Facebook, but he's never accepted it. And he's never replied back through Facebook. Although he has replied back to her through this other snapchat that has a different name on it you get where i'm going with this it's confusing as hell right? even l end up going back they do their research come to find out of course the guy who name is on the facebook and the snapchat his name is i think it's Derek jackson or something like that they end up calling him facetiming him duh like we all knew it's not him so they do know that this guy remy has been faking whoever he's been claiming to be this whole time or whatever right so they have the address that she gave them. They end up searching the address, come to find out when they do the Google search, there is an apartment number. They couldn't find it the last time with homegirl. They, they, they probably won't pay no goddamn attention anyway. But they end up going there, look, going to the address that they got, you know, for a homeboy and all of that. And come to find out that, of course, it's not him. They go to the apartment, that's not him. They don't knock on some total fucking stranger's door and they ain't even who the fuck it is. For a moment there, Need thinks that I think that's probably him because the way he was like hesitant, he was sketchy as fuck when he answered the door. But it turns out that's not his ass either. So they end up going back to Angel, telling her what's up. Her best friend, Mari, is there right now. Her best friend seems legit from the jump. She's telling the story as well about how you know, she doesn't really trust Remy. Remy is sketchy as fuck. He's tried to turn Angel and Mari against each other because Remy has told Angel that Mari has tried to talk to him before, that they've messed around before, they've slept together before, yada, 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 right? So that's the part that she failed to mention to Neve and Elle because they're like, wait a minute, that's some pretty important shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, how you just going to leave that whole goddamn part out? Neve and Elle end up finding out that the number that Remy has been texting Angel from this whole time is a, um, it's one of those text app, application things, whatever, right? So they end up, um, they, somehow or another, they didn't have the number, so the friend tells them that she has FaceTime. They've been on a group face chat before, right? And again, the same thing. All she could see was from the forehead up. So Neve is like, okay, well, let me see what number that you have in there that y'all have done the FaceTime from before. Friend pulls up the phone thinking they think they just gonna look at the phone number. They looking at the timestamp on that bitch. They done FaceTime a couple times. Most recently, it was like four o'clock in the morning. And so Neve is like, ain't that, that's kind of odd. Why would you be FaceTiming him on your own? And then why would you be FaceTiming him at four o'clock in the morning? Friend talking about, well, I just wanted to see um, if he would send pictures of who he really is. And so um, he would be legit with my friend and say who he is. And Elle is like, well, that's 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 kind of awkward, ain't it? That y'all would be talking like that. like, And, and your friend doesn't know anything about it. Angel kind of looking at her sideways too. Like, bitch, why is y'all talking on goddamn face chat? And I don't know nothing about that, right? Sketchy as fuck. So later on, Neve end up calling Remy and telling Remy, like, hey, look, I'm here with Angel. She really wants to meet up with you. Like, what's going on? What's popping? What's cracking? Can we get to meet you, right? He tells him, no, I ain't ready to meet up. Hangs up the phone on Neve. So Neve was like, oh, okay. Oh, this nigga on some whole shit. But he ends up calling back and tells him, you know, I changed my mind. I do want to go ahead and meet up with her. Shoot, I'm gonna shoot y'all the address while I'm gonna be at y'all come holler at me. All right, cool. So finally, they get to the park where he is. This nigga's sitting over there by the lake looking like a sketchy McSketcher. He's sketchy as fuck. He over there by the lake, and when they pull up on him, of course, he's a totally different guy. He kind of has the same resemblance. Like, he got the dreads and kind of like the big scoop ball head, like the, or the, the dude that she thought she was talking to has, but it's not him. And this guy is an asshole. He is asshole. This braid is getting my damn nerve on this camera. He is like asshole level 10, for real. First of all, uh, Neve is like, okay, nice to meet you. Can we have your real name? Who you are? He's like, nah, I don't want to give you my name. I mean, he started off like an asshole. He claims that um, Neve asked him what part of this was actually true. 
He said everything was true aside from who he really is. He claims that everything was a joke to him. He didn't mean any of that. He was never in love with her. He has a girlfriend, so he didn't have any feelings for her. Everything was a whole damn joke. That it was entertaining to him to watch her pull up to where he is. He hiding in a cut somewhere while she's sitting back waiting on him, looking for him. The shit was entertaining to him. He had no intentions of apologizing. He didn't feel bad for nothing, y'all. That pissed me off off that instantly pissed me off because the girl starts crying because it's like that's a prime example you don't know what people going through when you putting her through something and she is not even in the right state of mind to be going through the shit that she fucking going through and that ain't goddamn right like she got a baby she's a single mother she's 18 a baby with a baby which she means she was 17 when she had him like and he was a complete asshole about it he had no remorse whatsoever fucking little motherfucker she better than me because i don't on his goddamn ass. So, they also ask him, so what is this thing with you trying to put Mari and Angel against each other? He's like, no, no, no. I tried to warn Angel about Mari. She was trying to come holler at me. She was the one texting me. She sent me videos. She sent me pictures. She sent me all of that. She even told me shit that she wanted to do to my little ping ping. Like, her friend, the name of this episode should have been What About Your Friends? Because that bitch was wrong as hell. I don't care if she never met him before. I don't care if if they officially together or not. When it's hers, it's hers. And the real bitch gonna leave that alone. That was never your friend. I'm sorry, that was never your friend. That was never your associate. That was just a bitch that wanted to be around you, that wanted to have the privilege of sharing the same space with you. And I know plenty of bitches like that. I'd have been screwed over by a bitch like that before too. And if you're watching that, hmm, I got you, girl, but we cool now. Hey, boo. So they end up going back and asking Mari or telling Mari everything that Remy said. And they're like, um, so according to Remy, like you sent him pictures, you've sent him all kind of stuff where you've been trying to highlight him, you've been wanting to do this that, and the other. You want you trying to suck on his ping ping, trying to give him some trying to do something strange for some child. Like what what the fuck? First, she tries to say, no, I don't know nothing about that. I would never do anything like that to her. Like, he's an asshole for even saying anything like that. And so they're breaking her ass down. They're like, no, we've seen the text messages. We've seen and we've seen the videos. We've seen the pictures. We've seen everything that you sent to him. So you can't lie about it. So then the bitch going to say, well, it wasn't like I was coming on to him. He was coming on to me. Bitch, it don't matter. That's supposed to be your home, girl. Hands off, bitch. It don't matter. That was supposed to be your home, girl. And oh, oh, it's some some shiesty bitches out there. Some shiesty bitches out there. Oh, and I also forgot to say, um, Remy, when they asked him, why would you come out and why would you do this now? Why wouldn't you tell that girl way long time ago that all of this was fake? This motherfucker gonna say, who wouldn't pass up the opportunity of being on TV? This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to be on TV. Fucking asshole. Somebody needs to run over his ass. So, um, again, back to homegirl Mari. They're asking her about these pictures and shit like, you know, are you going to admit up to the shit or what? She's saying that um, she sent pictures and videos to other people before. And in the past, her pictures have been leaked out there somewhere so it's a possibility that somebody got her pictures out there but why would he specifically have them like bitch you don't even make no sense with your lying ass girl with friends like that you don't need no motherfucking enemies for real that is messed up so poor little ting ting poor angel she was so heartbroken but it's like she didn't know her homegirl was fucked up like that, right? So you know how to do a little three-month check-in. Neve ended up checking in with her. Come to find out, homegirl Angel finds out that Mari been doing shit like this to her. She been going behind her back trying to talk to dudes that she's been talking to before. That's a shiesty-ass bitch. That's the most single black female type shit. You ain't happy with your own goddamn life, so you want to try to come and sneak up and try to get another bitch life? Bitch, you ain't shit. You ain't shit. You ain't shit. She has not talked with Remy anymore. She has not talked with Mari anymore. And that was good. Because, again, with friends like that, bitch, you don't need no goddamn enemies. And that was the end of the episode right there. Was it watchworthy? No. Because I just gave you the review right here in 15, 16, 17 minutes or less. <laughs> if you like the review, let me know what you guys think about it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share, uh, share this video. Happy 4th of July, everybody. I hope everybody has a blessed weekend. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. 
What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.